So girls, in the next bit, we're going to be looking at our rhythmic gymnastics. We're going to be looking at using balls. Now, normally, do you think you would use footballs for rhythmic gymnastics? No. However, I didn't bring the right balls for the video. So we're going to be using footballs today, but it will still work quite nicely. Okay? Why might a gymnast in the Olympics be using a hoop or using a ball? Yep. Look more lively. So they're going to be using these different apparatus to hopefully create a more interesting, more visually appealing routine. Okay, so so we're going to be looking at how to, how to hold the ball. Do we want our fingers pointed really um, straight like this? No. no. Do we want to be gripping the ball really tight? No. Just letting it just rest nicely in our palm, and we're going to be having the ball from the side, and we're just going to sort of bring it into the front and out without dropping the ball. Can we give that a go? Right, that's good. Let's keep going. So, just in front of us, just moving it from side to side. Don't let the ball hit the floor. If you can, you have a really straight arm. There won't even be a bend in your elbow. Fantastic. If we can find that easy, can we go on the other hand? Try not to let your ball drop onto the floor. We don't want to hear the bouncing. Good. So, keep it still. Okay, good. So, we're now going to go into our roll down the arm. So, keep. So, from our arms, we're just going to roll it down and just try and catch it there. So as I roll it back and forward down my arms, I'm not trying to hook my hand like that to stop it. It should just be rolling and then just resting nicely in my hand. As it goes down, it's just resting nicely in my hand. Good. Well done. So now, one thing you could do to make that even harder, with one hand, you can now try and try and straighten your arm and let it roll out towards your hand. So just hold it against your shoulder and then just straighten your arm and let it roll down your arm. So with two arms is easier, but I'm now going to one arm. That is quite difficult. Do you sort of do it? You've got to let go. You've got to be quick on your arm and let it roll down and just catch it there. You got it, keep an eye on the ball. Good, and relax there. So we're gonna go into our over and around. Watch this one, in my hand. I'm gonna move my hand around the ball. So as I just run my hand around the ball, my hand is always touching the ball, but I'm sort of moving it around. So you're trying to create like a 360 almost on the ball. Give it a go. Now, if I was in a PE lesson, I think I need a little bit more time on it, but you can see the progression, the natural movement. They are starting to get it, but just need more time on it, really. So I'm going to move on. But if I was in my PE lesson, I'll just keep working on it. Maybe I could use bigger types of balls. I could use softer types of balls. But adapt it to try and make it easier for them where you can. Relax there. So I call this one the substitution. This one's a bit easier. But all you're going to do is you're going to try and roll the ball if you can, you won't even let the ball stop. So my tip is with this, both hands are always touching the ball. So start with, your, with it like this. Both of my hands are actually palm down. So when it's there, I can then just roll the ball around and my hand should always stay palm down. Give that a go, stand up, give it a go. Good. So if you can, see how many in a row you can get. Obviously I call it a substitution because it looks a little bit like the sign for a substitution in a sports pitch. Good. Can you go as quick as me? And relax there. Bouncing now, obviously bouncing could be seen in loads of different ways. It's a bit like basketball, you could be bouncing in loads of different ways. But the one we're gonna work on in particular is how low, and then we use this in rhythmic gymnastics, is how low can we get the ball bouncing? Okay. So I'm gonna start quite big bounces. To make it harder, I'm gonna try and make it shorter bounces. Okay, I might even be able to go shorter. And then I can, Build it up. Okay. So give that one a go. Just start big and gradually make those bounces. Don't let the ball die though, because you want to be able to bring the ball back up. With this one, we don't want to use the palm, we want to use fingertips. So if this ball was really muddy, your palm should be super clean. Your fingertips will be muddy. So as I use it, watch look at my fingertips. Only my fingertips I'm using. Fingertips. Good. Excellent. Don't use your wrist. Just try and use your whole arm. Ball still. Now, because you girls are really good, you're going to be challenging me now. And I'll see how I get on with this. So I'm going to have my hand out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get the ball to come in towards my body. Sort of goes, and I've sort of like made a, 
almost like a cave where the ball goes through. And it's there. So it's there now, but then to get it so it's, my arm is comfortable again, I'm going to have to bring my arm all the way over the top of my head. And round. Give that a go. Again, it's a new skill. They're not going to be able to pick it up in one minute, two minutes. It's going to take time. You're going to need to give them feedback. They'll start to feel it. Once they get through there, they'll be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. And then once they get there and they start playing around with the skill, they'll really start to understand what the movement is. And their body will almost just tell them because it just the way it works. Like, oh. And relax there. So to make this a little bit harder, so if you haven't learned it, you can keep practicing. But if you have learned it, you're now going to go through the cave, over the top, and get to here, and then you're going to go back. So it's now over the top, and then through the cave, and relax. So it's like you're doing the reverse. Give it a go, and relax there. So when we're using our ball, can somebody tell me what makes a gymnastics routine really good when you are using a ball? Yep. Helps you improve, but what if I was a judge, and I had to decide between different competitors, how would I know who's the best? Because it looks better. So what makes it look better? Yep. Making, Making the skill exactly. Should the ball be dropping? No. No. Should we have full control of the ball? Yeah. Yeah. But that's controlled, isn't it? That's, using lots of twists and turns, using some of the different skills that we learned today. Okay.